Hello everybody and welcome to this Renault video tutorial. In today's tutorial, I would like to focus on building this wash basin. So let's get started. As you can see, we already have on screen the overall dimensions of the wash basin. We also have a curve that determines the overall size for the metallic drainer. So now, let's focus on building the other curves. I will start by building a second rail using the ellipse command and activating the deformable option. This will allow me to build a curve that when point edited stays smooth. I will place the center of the ellipse at the center of the C-plane by typing 0 and pressing enter. Then, with the end object snaps activated, make sure you snap to the end point of the dimensions. Now let's focus on the cross section. I'll hop over to the front view and run the control point curve command. Make sure quad and near are activated as well as project. And then snap to the quad of the circle. Press down shift to momentarily activate ortho and align the second point to the first. And then start drawing your cross section freely. Remember, use as few control points as you can. If you need more control points, we can add them at a later time. Once you're done, right-click to end the command. Now select the curve, select the last point, and with the gumball, drag it in X so that we align it to the first point on the curve. Let's go over to the perspective view. With these curves in place, we can hop over to the Surface Tools tab and run the Sweep to Rails command so that we get a first preview of what our surface can look like. Select the circle as a first rail and the ellipse as a second, and then the curve as a cross section, and press Enter. We get a pretty good result that resembles our design intention. See, the cross section scales its height in Z as the distance between the rails decreases. We can override that option by checking the maintain height option. But actually, keep it unchecked so that we get a result closer to what we want. And then click OK. At this point, I would like to add further details to the bottom part of the wash basin. So I will go over to the front viewport. Now remember, I had record history before building the sweep. So any editing I do to my curve will affect the surface. Now activate the filters and right click on curves and left click on control points so that only these two object types are selected. I will now select the curve, go over to the standard tab, and open the control point curve toolbar. Run the insert knot command. By inserting knots in the curve, I will automatically be adding control points to the curve. With these added control points, drag them downward to protrude the bottom of the surface. Now you can continue pulling and dragging the curve and the surface will follow those same changes along. Once you're satisfied, go over to the perspective view to get an overall look. Okay, now this isn't my final surface. I will use this to extract information and rebuild my surface again so that I have more control on the front and back side of the basin. 
At this point, let's close the filters and go over to the Curve Tools tab and to the last toolbar and run the Extract ISO Curve command. Select the surface. Make sure the ISO Curve is being extracted in the same direction, otherwise toggle the direction. And then over at the top view, snap to the quad of the circle and press enter. Now we can get rid of the surface. Select and delete. At this point, I want to align the two bottom points of the curves with the two bottom points of my second section. So select all four points and in the transform tab run the set point command. Make sure only Z is checked so that we only align the height of the points. Then click OK and in the front viewport click on the desired height. Now, still in the Transform tab, run the Mirror command. I now want to mirror this section on the other side of X. Press Enter to the run the command again, select the second section, and let's make a copy on the other side of Y. Let's deactivate the reference layer. With my new curves created, I will hop over to the Surface Tools tab and run the Sweep to Rails command again. Selecting my first and second rail, and then the cross sections in order. Pressing Enter, and make sure you select the Closed Sweep command so that the surface revolves all around. Then just press OK. Remember, record history was activated, so there's a relationship between my sections and my surface. We can now activate the filters again to limit the selection to curves and control points only. Select the back section, drag a window over the upper points, and drag them with the blue arrow of the gumball. This will raise the wall in the back part of the sink. You can continue point editing until you're satisfied with your solution. Thank you for watching.